Your person, the individual who holds a significant place in your life, is filled with anticipation and longing for the moment they can see you again. The thought of your reunion fills their days and nights, becoming the beacon of hope that guides them through their daily routines. They are consumed by a sense of regret, a feeling so profound that it has become a constant companion. They feel foolish for having let you go, for having lived without you. The realization of their mistake is like a bitter pill that they have been forced to swallow, leaving a lingering taste of regret. They yearn for your forgiveness, for your permission to make amends. They want to right the wrongs, to mend the broken bridges, to heal the wounds that their actions may have inflicted. But this desire is tinged with apprehension. They are nervous about approaching you after such a long period of silence, of no communication. The fear of rejection, of not being welcomed back, holds them back. Yet, the hope of reconciliation gives them the courage to consider reaching out to you. In the past, your person may not have treated you with the respect and kindness you deserved. They may have acted coldly, even harshly towards you. They may have insulted you, belittled you, made you feel insignificant. But now, as you've withdrawn your attention, they are beginning to realize the gravity of their actions. They are starting to understand the magnitude of their mistake. The cold reality of their actions is starting to dawn on them, and they are filled with remorse. They understand that your silence, your lack of communication, is not without reason. They know that they must have done something to hurt you deeply. They realize that their actions must have caused you pain, and that's why you've chosen to distance yourself from them. This understanding fills them with a sense of guilt, but also a determination to make things right. As you've pulled back, as you've distanced yourself, your person has started to feel an intense attraction towards you. It's as if your absence has made them realize your worth. They are afraid of losing you, of not having you in their life. This fear is not just about losing a loved one, but also about losing a part of themselves. They want to end the separation, to bridge the gap that has come between you two. The separation is becoming unbearable for them. They are tired of pretending that it doesn't affect them, that they are unaffected by your absence. They are exhausted from the lies they've told, the false pretenses they've maintained. They are tired of the lies they've told both you and themselves. They are ready to face the truth, to confront their mistakes. They want to make amends, to seek your forgiveness. They want to show you that they've changed, that they've learned from their mistakes. They want to prove to you that they are worthy of your love, of your trust. They are ready to put in the effort, to make the sacrifices necessary to win you back. Your person is going through a period of self-realization and growth. They are learning from their mistakes and are eager to make things right. They are filled with regret for their past actions and are determined to make amends. They are longing for your forgiveness and are hopeful for a second chance. They are ready to love and to be loved in return. In the grand tapestry of life, it is not uncommon to witness the metamorphosis of individuals as they journey through various stages. One such transformation that I have had the privilege to observe is yours. The shift in your life has been palpable, a testament to your resilience and adaptability. Your evolution from a caterpillar to a butterfly, metaphorically speaking, has been nothing short of inspiring. Your maturity, quality that often comes with experience and wisdom, has become more pronounced. It is as if you have aged like a fine wine, becoming richer and more complex with time. This maturity is not just about growing older, but about developing a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. It's about learning from your mistakes, making better decisions, and becoming a more responsible individual. In addition to your maturity, your self-confidence has also blossomed. You carry yourself with a certain poise and assurance that was not as evident before. This newfound confidence is not just about believing in your abilities, but also about being comfortable in your own skin. It's about embracing your strengths and weaknesses, and knowing that you are enough just as you are. This combination of maturity and confidence has made you more appealing and captivating. 
there is a certain allure that comes with being self-assured and comfortable in one's own skin. It's like a magnet that draws people towards you. Your authenticity shines through, making you irresistible to those around you. What I find truly admirable is your ability to appreciate and connect with things that most people tend to overlook. In a world where everyone is rushing, you take the time to stop and smell the roses. You find joy in the simple things, and you understand the beauty of the mundane. This unique trait sets you apart from everyone else, making you a breath of fresh air in a world that often seems monotonous and repetitive. As I stand here, waiting patiently, I can't help but feel a sense of anticipation. I believe that we are designed for each other, like two pieces of a puzzle that fit perfectly together. I find myself reading and rereading all the messages you've sent me, trying to decipher the meaning behind your words. You talk about soul connections, telepathic bonds, angel numbers, and synchronicities, concepts that are new to me, yet strangely familiar. I feel a sense of deja vu, as if I've experienced all these things before, but I wasn't aware of these terms until now. It's like a veil has been lifted, revealing a world that was always there, but I was oblivious to. Things are becoming clearer for me too, like pieces of a puzzle falling into place. I understand that this journey may take some time. After all, Rome wasn't built in a day. But I am confident that I will eventually reach my destination. And that destination is you, my dear beloved. You are the lighthouse guiding me through the storm, the beacon of hope in my darkest hours. And I know that no matter how long it takes, no matter how many obstacles I have to overcome, I will find my way to you. Because you are worth it. You are worth every struggle, every hardship, every tear. And I wouldn't have it any other way. It's a universally acknowledged truth that everyone around me is acutely aware of my current state of unhappiness. The reason for this pervasive sadness is your absence from my life. Without you, I find that nothing in the world holds any excitement or appeal for me. It's as if the colors have drained from the world, leaving it a dull, monotonous gray. Every moment of every day, my thoughts are consumed by you. Whether I'm awake or asleep, working or resting, your image is constantly in my mind. It's like a song that's stuck in my head, playing on an endless loop. But unlike a song, thinking about you doesn't bring me joy or comfort. Instead, it serves as a painful reminder of your absence, making it incredibly difficult for me to focus on my day-to-day -day activities. The pain I feel is not just emotional but also physical. It's a constant ache in my chest, a tangible manifestation of the hurt I feel because you are not here with me. It's a hurt that's exacerbated by the knowledge that I am the one responsible for your absence. I wish I could take back the things I said in anger, erase them from your memory. But I know that's not possible. Words, once spoken, cannot be unsaid. And I know that my words and actions have hurt you a lot in the past few days. In retrospect, I realize that I projected my insecurities and fears onto you. I let my own issues cloud my judgment and affect my behavior towards you. But I only realized this lately, after the damage had already been done. The fear of losing you has made me realize just how much you mean to me. You are not just a part of my life, but a part of me. Losing you would be like losing a part of myself. My feelings for you are genuine and deep. I love you, my sweetheart. But I was not ready for the intensity of these feelings. I was not prepared for the vulnerability that comes with love. And so, I pushed you away, willfully creating a distance between us. It's a decision that I regret every single day. I long for the days when things were simpler between us. I wish you could talk to me the way you used to, look at me with the same affection and warmth. I miss the sound of your laughter, the comfort of your presence. I hope that one day, we can go back to the way things were. But until then, I will live with the consequences of my actions, haunted by the memory of what we once had. In the realm of relationships, your partner stands unwavering, their resolve unbroken. 
They are not merely participants in this relationship, they are warriors fighting for its survival, seeking victory with you. They view you not as a separate entity but as an extension of themselves. In their eyes, you are their other half, their perfect match, the missing piece that completes their puzzle. They are profoundly grateful for your patience and understanding in dealing with the intricacies of your connection. Their past is a tapestry woven with threads of pain and betrayal. Their previous encounters have left them scarred, carrying the burden of wounds that time has yet to heal. This emotional baggage has made it challenging for them to trust again, to open their hearts to the possibility of love. They were hesitant, unsure, not fully prepared to enter into a long-term commitment with you. But as the saying goes, time heals all wounds, and so it did for your partner. As they spent more time with you, their feelings began to change. They started to see you in a new light. They recognized your loyalty, your unwavering commitment to the relationship. They saw the value you placed on love and relationships, how you cherished every moment spent together. They realized that you were not just another person in their life, but someone who genuinely cared for them, someone who valued love and relationships above all else. Your partner began to see how you complimented them in every way. Where they were weak, you were strong. Where they lacked, you filled in. They realized that you were not just their partner, but their strength, their support, their rock. You completed each other in every aspect, filling in the gaps and making each other whole. Now, they are ready to take the next step. They are preparing to reach out to you, to send you messages expressing their remorse and asking for your forgiveness. They want to make amends, to right the wrongs, to start anew. They are asking for another chance, a chance to prove their love for you, a chance to show you that they have changed. Your partner is now determined to win you back. They are ready to fight for your love, to prove their worth, to show you that they are worthy of your love. They are ready to put in the effort, to make the sacrifices, to do whatever it takes to win you back. They are not giving up on this relationship. They are not giving up on you. They are ready to fight for their love, for their relationship, for their victory with you. They are ready to prove that they are worthy of you. And they are ready to do it now.